the industrial internet and why are people doing it? Uh, because I think the analogy can readily be made to how they, the CPGs, relate to their customers, the retailers or major food service organizations and things like that. Because they share data back and forth, code sharing, all of that information goes back and forth in order to better supply the retailer and keep the shelves full, right? Uh, they, because of that, and being in the downstream side of the supply chain, now it, it's not a big leap to think that the upstream side needs to get their act together. The technology of the manufacturing equipment is so sophisticated and getting more so that the support in a brilliant factory will have to enable the worker today and the future worker the millennial or whatever, to be tuned in, engaged, and part of it so that they can make sure that the products are being produced, so that they can more, even more effectively supply the downstream. It won't be a lights out factory. It won't be completely, not in the CPG industry. Mm. Uh, the, it will be so much better aligned to, to address the needs in the general term, mass customization. That, that SKU explosion is huge it's for the CPG companies trying to keep up with all that yeah. and switching lines yeah. and adding lines and keeping up with uh, yeah. with all those dynamic changes. And it's big for it's big for the retailers too. Yeah. They're trying to figure out you know bricks and mortar versus home delivery right. versus ordering online and stopping by the stores and picking it up. So it's it it's it's flipping around uh, the models down at uh, at the retail level yeah. too. We, we're very demanding as consumers. We we get yeah. we taste the Kool Aid and we want more of it. The constant innovation, the accelerating pace of innovation, it's, it's fun, mm -hmm. yeah, it's fun.